Getting your language right will help children and young people understand better and will support their talking too. Being careful with questions is an effective way of adapting your language to support speech, language and communication skills. Commenting, as well as asking questions, helps encourage children and young people to join in. Questions can be a really effective way of encouraging contributions from children and young people. Open questions invite the most language. Say it to the person next to you, night time. So we've talked about night time and then we've talked about that other thing, when that bright thing comes out in the sky. What time of day is that? Let me see. Let me turn over and see what else happens. Oh, what's look? Oh, look at this picture. What do you think's happening here? What clues are there in the picture that tells you that it might be a fairy tale or a magical scene? Mm -hmm. Because uh, um, you might not see those kind of trees and that kind of formation, so it might be a up. Okay, can we see your picture? Just hold your picture up. Please. Excellent. What does Sally's choice make you think of? To me, it looks a bit like an elephant. Mm, it looks a bit like an elephant. What makes you think that, Anna? Well, you can see like the caves that might be his eye, mm -hmm. and you can see near the bottom in the middle that it's kind of er eroded. Oh, that's a good word. Eroded. Um, so the bit of the front looks like um, a trunk. Yeah. Can you see it's got almost like a trunk? So we've got an elephant in a rock. If a child or young person needs support, two choice questions can be engaging and helpful. So what would you do? Would you climb or would yeah, you not climb? I'll climb. You're going to climb. I'll, 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 I'll break the sharp bits. Oh, that's a good idea. Why would you have to break the sharp bits? Because they would, um, if I went up and I didn't break the sharp bits, they would hurt my, um, um, they would hurt my hand. Wonderful, good idea. Savannah, have you had a little chance to think? Avoid overuse of yes, no or closed questions as these limit the contributions a child or young person can make. Support your questions with gestures of visual cues. This is called a log and this here, you have to, if you want to get up high, you have to open the lock so maybe, oh, look who's here. This. What's he doing? Looking look here. What do you think they're doing with this called a lock there? Opening it. Opening it. And if they open it, look at the boat now. It's really, really down. Down. It's really low. But if they open that, it raises it. Look here. Can you see? Pausing to give them time lets children and young people know you're interested and would like to hear more. You can add fatics, like uh-huh, to encourage children to say more. I'll say, what have we been learning about in nursery? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, the star and the moon. We have been talking about the stars and the moons. Good what? talking when it's night time. Stars and the moons come out at night time. What do you do at night time, Zach? The moon comes out. The moon comes out. Good talking, it does. The moon comes out and the stars come out. And you go to... Sleep. Sleep, you do. Making a comment encourages children and young people to contribute and join in the conversation. Yeah, I'll make a moon now. I'll do it before. Can I Questions are really important in adult language. Sometimes children and young people can be overloaded with questions, 
so it's good to think about the purpose of them. Remember to try to use different types of questions to encourage children and young people to use their language.